Well, on the mound tonight for the Orioles is Brad Bergeson. He tries to play the role of stopper as the Orioles look for their first win on this road trip and trying to break a six-game losing streak. And, of course, what Brad has been searching for, as all the young Oriole pitchers are, is consistency. And for more on that, we're going to head to Yankee Stadium in New York and welcome in Amber, who has on the lovely green. <laughs> Finally, I listened to you for once, Jim. Hey, they talk about pitching backwards. Well, it seems that Brad Bergeson's career has kind of evolved backwards, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just happened a little bit flip-flopped. He had a lot of success out of the gate as a rookie, and now in his second year, he's finally learning to deal with some adversity. He fought through that injury. He also dealt with going down to the minor leagues very early on. He got his confidence and his mechanics straightened out. And so he's, since he's come back, he's been pretty effective. He's had games like his last one against O. Oakland, where he went seven and a third, gave up just four runs. He's also had games, though, where he's given up some double-digit hits. And Rick Kranitz told me that's because Brad is still learning about things like not trying to overthrow, not trying to bully a ball past the hitters, and instead just learning to trust that sinker ball. If any sinker baller, even if they're looking for it, if you throw a good sinker, they're going to hit it on the ground. It's going to be very hard. I mean, obviously, you're going to have to do a few more things. You know, you have to pitch his in. He needs to pitch in a little bit more against some of the left-handed hitters. But a good sinker ball pitcher, you know, that's the one pitch that if you're throwing it good and you're throwing it down, you know, it's tough to get underneath it. And so uh, it just needs to be down the zone. And, uh, you know, he should be fine. You know, he shouldn't overthink things. And, and he has overthought some things. And that's, and that's okay. I think with young guys are trying to adjust, and he may be trying to adjust a little bit too much or too soon on things that he probably doesn't even have to worry about. All right, so one thing that Brad Bergeson is doing very well is uh, he's throwing strikes. 63% of his pitches since coming back from AAA have been strikes. Anything above 60 is very good. Also, he's getting those ground ball outs. You can see the outs break down. 88 ground ball out. So he's doing what he is supposed to be doing. He's pitching to contact, getting the ball on the ground, and that's when he's at his best. And Rick Kranitz also added that maybe Brad at times is trying to adjust a little bit too much here in his second year. He's overthinking things. He has told me many times that he thinks that hitters are looking at his scouting report and expecting the sinker ball, and so sometimes he'll get away from the sinker ball because he thinks they're gonna, they know he's going to throw it. Well, as Rick Kranitz said, don't worry about that. If that's your best pitch, you just go with it, Jim.